Good morning, everybody. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. As you can tell, I'm holding a camera, woo, 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 and I'm gonna attempt at vlogging. So this week was pretty stressful for me. I don't know if it was just because I was extra busy or because I'm, you know, creating different content and trying different things like this, but I know that after a really long, busy week, I like to take some time for myself. And so I plan to have Saturday completely free. If any of you know, I'm um, looking back, this will probably come out next week, but looking back last week, you know, I didn't have a live stream on Saturday. And that was, you know, by design because I knew that I kind of needed a little break to just have like a self care day. So I'm gonna walk you through what I do to take care of myself. Cause I know a lot of you ask about it. And I think better, like rather than just telling you, I'm gonna show you. The most important thing to me when I'm gonna go out and have a day on my own is that I'm comfortable, right? So I'm putting on some of my favorite Nike shoes I bought before my trip to Scotland all that time ago and they are still some of my faves. And I got my cozy pants and I got one of my favorite um, sweatshirts. It's actually one of the best purchases I ever made. It was from a Nordstrom sale. It was like this aloe uh, sweatshirt, but it's got the thumb holes, you guys. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's the best. Hey everybody, so since I'm starting off my day in my cozy clothes, I'm gonna go grab some coffee because you all know how much I love coffee. And I know a lot of you coffee snobs yourselves will be like, how come you're drinking it cold? But I'm warm, I've been walking around and it's my day, I do what I like. Lately, you know, things have just been a little stressful for me and I think it has to do with a couple of things. One being like, financial stress and making sure that I'm making enough money because for all of you who don't know you know I paid for all my own school and I pay about 1100 bucks a month in student loans it's just been really stressful and so I haven't really been taking time for myself I've been instead spending time worrying about those types of things and making sure I'm doing enough work and answering enough emails and creating enough content and making things exciting and I found that I needed to put more back into myself and so something that I'm gonna make a concerted effort to do is to schedule self-care days where I do things just for me just because I want to and I encourage you to do the same carve out some time even if it's not a full day if it's a few hours here and there it really adds up and it really helps us you know fill our own bucket before we go trying to fill others and so as a part of that something that I do for when I take days for myself is that I don't have a set schedule I don't have anything I have to do I don't have anything that needs to get done because then that wouldn't be self-care so for today I'm just kind of roaming around I'm walking around my city in parts that I like. I'm gonna shop for some cozy clothes because those make me happy. I got my coffee, I got my nice music, and I got my best friend, Sean. And then we'll probably grab something to eat because that's part of taking care of yourself too. So anyways, that's just a little bit about what's going on today. Oh, open up. Goji Turaco Orange. It's amazing. It's coming home. Thanks for letting us. I have a mental health YouTube channel, so I'm doing like a self care day. So we're kind of walking along, and I get sense are important. So I was like, we need candles for the house, and this is my favorite store. So. Oh, thanks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks for always coming in. Yeah, of course, of course. These are mental health candles and a little ceremony yeah. around them. Like the, the act of pulling them out and exactly. lighting them, even picking them. So. Exactly. Yeah, totally agree. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think it was made for us. It's got a squirrel on it. Oh, and it smells amazing. Sugar lemon. It's a good one. Oh, it does smell. It's like a whole little squirrel. I love it. Another thing I like to do is um, take my coffee somewhere where I can sit and I can relax and I can, you know, just enjoy the outdoors. I'm really fortunate enough to live in Southern California and live by the water. And I know it's more expensive to live here, but I really think it's important for my mental health and my well-being to be somewhere where I can be outside a lot and I can enjoy all the sights and I can go to the ocean. Sean and I thought about moving farther inland a while back and he was like, no, I think it's good for me to be near the ocean. And I have to agree and look how beautiful it is today. I 
love about my city is how all of the restaurants aren't really chains. Most of them are owned by local people and we get to know the owners and one of my favorite places is called The Independence and they are super nice to us and so Sean and I walk down on the weekends and relax, grab some food, grab a cocktail and just enjoy ourselves because I find that I don't like to cook and I find it really stressful and so it's actually really nice and such a luxury to be able to go out and get some amazing food at a local place where we kind of know the people and it feels like a community. live stream how important that was that you wear clothes that not only make you feel amazing but also that feel good on you and so I think that's really important to buy clothes that are comfortable and I find I spend a lot of time at home in my pajamas so part of what I'm trying to do is like buy clothing that is not only cozy so I can wear it at home but also things that I can take out I wanted to do this today and kind of just show you how I take care of myself is because I find that we're pulled in so many directions in life and we often have so many responsibilities whether it be work or school and we put into those relationships and those tasks and I think it's really important we take time to put into our most important relationship the one we have with ourselves so many of you Wait. know oh I didn't know you were going to talk earlier I was going to talk and then do it real quick because then we always have that if we need it and Many of you, if you follow me on social media at all, know how much I love a good face mask. And I really like um, Origins, is one of my favorite brands, just because it's organic and I can feel good about the fact that it's going on my skin. And so today we're gonna try the original skin mask. I'm gonna put that on and then I'm just gonna relax for a bit, which is the best way to unwind, I find, after a stressful day. And maybe with a glass of wine, who knows? So film? No, I think You all know how much I love to color and I've done it since I was a child. And the thing about it is because I don't want to mess it up, I don't want to go outside the lines and I want to pick the right color, I literally can't think about anything else. So if I'm stressed out, if I'm feeling maxed out, I just take 15, 20 minutes and color for a bit. It helps calm me. Something about feeling the pencil on the paper is just so soothing. And you all have sent me such wonderful coloring books. I keep them all and I work on them all progressively and it's just a great tool to relax. much into other relationships that we have with people and I think it's really important we put back into Sean 